Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And what you're seeing on screen is a tower upgrade in progress that's getting uh, ready to start for T-Mobile. I spoke with the tower crew. As you can see, the gates open. There's cones off to the left. They're blocking the area. They're going to upgrade this tower. And I saw it on the permits. They're going to upgrade it to FDD Massive MIMO. So they are moving AWS and PCS off of the uh, NR components that it's currently on. And they're going to move it to Massive MIMO NR. Just like what they did with 2.5, that's what T-Mobile is going to start doing on PCS and AWS. They're going to do it with a Ericsson Massive MIMO Air Panel. I forgot the, the, the model number. But as soon as this is completed, this upgrade, I will head back. I got the number of the of the of the gentleman there at the site, so he will tell me when it's completed, and I will head back and show you close-up photos of the upgrade, so you guys can see the new setup, new pole, I mean, a uh, new new panel. Um, I don't know if the setup will necessarily change. I'm going to assume, just to show you guys here, zoom in, the panel on the left the lte panel that was the ericsson air i think 21 or 32 I, I couldn't tell with this one will be removed and in its place is where they're going to put this new fdd massive mimo is 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 what i'm assuming so that should be the three panel setup that we should see once it's completed so as soon as it completes i will hit there so you guys got something to look forward to i want to share that with you guys so for some of you that tower hunt that look at towers in your in your local areas so that way you can see okay yes i do have this panel or no not yet or or if you do get it in the future that way you guys know what it looks like so this is the evolution to 5g advanced so t-mobile is already moving to 5g advanced by adding the fdd massive mimo and of course they want to be in all 5g business as soon as possible so they are going to make the necessary investments needed to make that the best, most efficient, best performing 5G network in the industry, right? They want to keep that two-year lead versus the competition, further modernize the, modernize the network. Verizon is adding C-band at a, at a break uh, break, neck-breaking pace, but they aren't necessarily upgrading the older panels to newer, newer uh, equipment. They still have in, in some uh, some cell sites here that, that I've seen, they've upgraded to C-band, but they never even removed the old Quintel panels. So they have some additional modernizing to do as well. And T-Mobile is like, well, we'll just we'll just invest more money and we'll further modernize our cell sites so we can be fully ready for 5G advanced, all new radios. If if need if any need to be deployed, they will deploy them. So this is good to see. This is the next step for T-Mobile and its 5G network evolution. We'll see how quickly they deploy this to what kind of scale. So far, I've seen like 13, 14 permits of this. Um, still a long way to go to get this to massive scale on all cell sites, but it's a start nonetheless. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.